Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm bringing you a video that has actually been requested to me by someone from the comments. Um, I do not know exactly who, so the comment will probably appear. He had a problem with spawning enemies when you go through a trigger, but not only one enemy, but spawning more of them. I've already done a video in the past um, explaining how you spawn items um, or objects, game objects, rigid bodies, whatever, through a trigger. So today um, I'm gonna show you how to spawn multiple items through the invoke repeating function at different times but at the same position because I haven't used the invoke or invoke repeating function uh, I haven't called invoke or invoke repeating in any of my videos so I'm gonna show you how you use that the script is pretty basic you have a game object that's called enemy which will be your enemy transform which is the position and the rotation of the um, enemy where you're gonna spawn it and the repeat rate is the time that is uh, needed to pass before another enemy gets spawned. On trigger enter, collider other. So this just checks if the thing that collided is tagged player. So your player needs to be tagged player. And here is invoke repeating. So what invoke repeating does, it repeats, it uh, calls a function that you described. So you don't have to describe it but we described it over here so enemy it calls enemy spawner what enemy spawner does it is it instantiates an enemy at enemy position dot position enemy pos dot rotation uh, it uh, calls enemy spawner um, when you collided but 0 0.5 seconds after and when that when the first enemy spawned uh, every five seconds it spawns another one so as you can see the script is pretty basic you create a game object, a box, I guess. It, it can be any kind of mesh, I guess. So, uh, but it, I just create a cube. Uh, the box collider, um, the box collider will actually, um, because so you don't, uh, so you aren't able to just uh, exit and enter the trigger and spawn the enemies faster. The second we uh, enter the trigger, the box collider is disabled. So we can't enter it again and spawn more enemies. And for just for clearing out the scene, I destroy the game object after 11 seconds. So the uh, like so a uh, thousand enemies don't spawn. Um, here uh, we have enemy AI, which is AI one, enemy puzz, which is another empty game object that I made. I put the transform over here. That's pretty much it. You can uh, turn off the mesh render, and yeah, so that's it. Um, so let it just spawn. So we walk um, in here and an enemy spawned. Now we wait five seconds, another enemy spawned. And another one, I guess. Yep. So that's it, I guess. Um, no more enemies are going to spawn. Uh, let me just show you and there's no more the box isn't anywhere so yeah i guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial um it's pretty simple and your enemies are gonna probably gonna have some ai to them so they're gonna attack you or whatever so yeah before we end the video i guess i'm just gonna so yeah thank you for watching the video guys if you have any questions or would like to make a request you can go ahead and ask me in the comments. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you want more. And see you next time. Bye. I'm high as I've ever been. Higher than heaven sits. Roll up my weed and think about my exes and jealousness. How to stay current and relevant. This be my story, I'm selling it.